The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour as we get ready for what I think is a lot of work over the weekend to get ready for next week. And I think if we do the work now or over this weekend, uh, you will pay be paid probably handsomely next week as most people are goofing off. But uh, I do digress. Uh, of course, uh, we've got a market that's uh, doing about exactly what we thought it was going to be uh, in the newsletter. Um, we'll see. take a look. But the spies had an incredibly sharp uh, point at about 442. And so we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. The NASDAQ's just a little weaker. Well, we'll see how close the spies come at 442. That would be, at least in the S&P 500, uh, the best outcome from the market makers as both the uh, puts and calls, or the most puts and calls would be uh, out uh, flat. So we'll see. Um, Apple was one of those ones that uh, had a $5 range, but uh, Pretty much in the last couple hours, that went to 167.50. We'll see how close they can pin it on th at uh, at four o'clock for the close on that. So, it just I'm going to say Nasdaq or tech stocks is stuff that's been going down a little weaker. Overall, the the bigger industrial S and P 500 stuff, it just kind of yeah. Anyway, we had a, a drive up on very light volume yesterday. I thought that was probably uh, – we're actually getting more action than I thought we might get. Of course, uh, as many times these three-day weekends come in, uh, the big shots of, uh, of Wall and Broad uh, in Wall Street – um, they're off to the Hamptons, especially this time of year. Go open up uh, their uh, big homes and impress each other. The B team is in. This is the snot-nosed young folk, probably uh, 35 and under uh, on Wall Street, working uh, 4,000 hours per week. Uh, they're in, and their one big thing is do not let the market get away from you. Slow it down to whatever extent you can. And we'll come back. But we're on vacation. We don't want to be bothered. You best not let that market move very fast or very far. It can handle a little, but uh, let's not do much. Um, I'm not a big fan of being short. I think, like I said, what, we're at 441.35 on the spies. I'm going to, I mean, this just all day long has been getting closer and closer to my prediction in the newsletter at 442 this morning. Uh, not at 4.42 a.m., but at 4.42, the number on the spies. We'll see how uh, fact, uh, how close that actually comes in, but uh, pretty good. Uh, probably adding to a little bit of the weakness is the uh, bonds. Um, I thought we might find at least a little support at 122. Looks like that's given it all up. Um, we'll take a look at that today. Um, this kind of is at least the first projection. Maybe we go a little deeper here, but I thought maybe we'd find a little support and get a little bounce, but doesn't look a whole lot like that. Uh, some of the other stocks, uh, AMD's down about 3%, uh, Micron's down about 1.6%. Um, some of the other things are holding up, but, uh, as I said, uh, you always wonder are these people that get into bonds thinking it's a safe place to go. And, of course, it's not. Everybody wants to uh, run to the back of the Titanic. Aperly, why we're going to talk about that today. Um, but it's all going down eventually. And uh, eventually we're going to have everything, probably short, maybe energy and gold or in something else, 
are all headed lower one day. The S&Ps, the NASDAQ, there will be nowhere to hide. And uh, everybody will be all surprised. But uh, everybody just kind of uh, playing hot potato uh, with the stinky stuff and uh, all thinking that there's a faster horse out there somewhere. Uh, if it's the NASDAQ, then it's the S&P, then it's the transports. Everybody goes round robin until they finally give up and understand the one thing, and that is market, they'd be going lower. But uh, I do digress. 877-927-6648. Uh, no, I got busy and I had, I didn't have my screen up. I do have it up now. There we go. Um, yeah, I just forgot. Sometimes I do that. I forget that I forget, which is even worse. And, of course, uh, yeah, all I can think of is one of the best jokes of all time by someone that passed away this week. And uh, he had a great joke, and that was uh, Gilbert Godfrey, by the way. Uh, he says, a uh, guy goes into a doctor. Doctor says you got uh, Alzheimer's and you got cancer. The guy says, well, at least I don't have cancer. But I uh, always love that joke. But, uh, eh, what can you say? 877-927-6648. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Uh, A-team gone. Low volume. I'm not a big fan of being shorted in the close. I'm looking for it to drill in at 442. Looking for Apple to close at 167.50. Yeah, and uh, let's just take a quick look and see what volume is out here. 6.3, 6.4 billion shares. So, yeah, it's going to be a light day. So, you know, we're going to be down a little bit. Um, market a little weaker, at least so far today, than I thought. But I don't know if we're going to have a lot of people who want them to sit on the short side into that close. So we'll see just how close. But uh, if they hit 442 on the spies, uh, my guess is they're going to have a giant party uh, for the B team. And uh, Mr. T probably, he's going to be there with his Mr. T starter set of gold for all of them because uh, they will rake it in. Uh, how low will TLT go? Yeah, of course, it's TLT limbo on a TFNN Thursday going into a three-day weekend. And uh, that's it. Anyway, um, oh, I forgot to wait. I didn't show that. Everybody always loves the uh, beginning slide. And remember, ramen noodles is just alphabet soup in cursive. Just can't read it, though. Uh, to, 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 okay. So that gets uh, us set. Uh, let's do a little history, and then we'll get right into charts as we said so. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. <laughs> On this day in 1912, the RMS Titanic strikes an iceberg for four days into its maiden voyage. Over 12 or 1,500 passengers drown with ship sinks early the next morning. Easily avoidable, but of course, uh, people always want to dare the gods. I would work on that movie, uh, and uh, it was one of the things that uh, made us go public. I uh, okay. And uh, I moved down here to Florida. I knew everybody else had drunk on their own food. Be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. First question of the day is, uh, uh, why do, uh, Veru, um, is this a big deal for them? And I have no idea. I don't know the biotech uh, side of it. But uh, one of the reasons that we talked about, I think we talked about this yesterday and that I don't short under there. But light volume on a Friday or on a Thursday going into a three-day weekend, there is a um, – always a, a chance that you're going to get fake news to drive it up. But one of the reasons I would be uh, very reticent to be in any of these is the last four days of shorting. And you can look at bi-monthly uh, data from the, from the exchanges. But in the short term, that's at least 15, 14 days ago, and you don't know how many people covered since then. And it's, I, it gives you a good baseline. But the FINRA data is every day. Now, it doesn't tell you how many people shorted and covered. Uh, a lot of stocks may only have 1% or 2%, uh, but throughout the day, there may be 15% uh, shorts uh, that have been added on that day, and maybe they need to cover if there's a bunch of them. There's always going to be some shorting by the market makers to keep a market moving. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of getting into stocks that one out of three shares every day for a number of days is short. So especially in these thinner stocks, especially if you're under 18 bucks uh, or so, um, or I mean under 30 bucks, I really totally dislike uh, being short uh, these things and they're actually better for uh, watching somebody squeeze something and you got a little bit of that today yeah the question yeah, yeah somebody in the den or actually uh, Dan in the den saying you got a po positive COVID trial but Everybody else already has pills and shots and stuff. But the question was, why is it a big deal? 
when everybody else seems to have a lot of stuff before it. And I don't know. But uh, that is... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's the first one. Uh, second one was uh, where is Microsoft going to expire out here today? Didn't really uh, take a look at it. Um, I should have, you know, I, what I should do for this question is go to here, go to here. Okay, go to here. And I will update the options right now. It takes about three minutes for them to download and for my algorithm to run on it. Um, and uh, at the bottom of the next hour, we'll look at Microsoft and see if there's anything that I have in it. I thought it was a little wider than that. Uh, again, I'm thinking Apple, one sixty-seven fifty. So what's Microsoft at? Uh, 282.59. MSFT. Take a quick look at it. I don't have a lot of volume. I'll have to look at the the curve for today, but do they have two eighty two fifties in that? Let's take a quick look. Why that data is downloading, so I know. Okay, options for today. What do they have? Okay. Well, you got 7,200 uh, at 280 for calls. Um, you got 28250 with 1,100. That sounds kind of interesting. Let's go look at the put side of it. Uh, you got 2,000 at 282.50, and you got 13,000 at 280, and you got 8,000 at 285. So I, even without looking at the chart, just looking at how many options are out there today, uh, if uh, the option market makers, and they can on a light volume day, push this around, um, 282.50 looks very good. We'll look at the chart, as I said, when I come back. And uh, uh, for subscribers this morning, if you missed it in the newsletter, I did put a link uh, to my last big webinar on using options to predict um, ex expiration price. And uh, what else do we have? Oh, uh, also, uh, if you are a uh, subscriber to the path, you got uh, the most hated stocks, uh, the ones with most sorts. Okay, we're going to go to John. How you doing today, John? Hey, Dave, how are you? Appreciate Fantastic. you taking my call. Appreciate everything you do out here every day. I, I said yesterday, uh, the, I was listening to you yesterday, and you had, uh, you, you know, you made the call on the spy from uh, uh, 440 to 442, and I'm just like, if he hits that, I'm going to call him up to congratulate <laughs> him. I'm like, that was, that's, that was a pretty good pretty good call there. But uh, so I'm I'm short the Qs. I got short at 367, and then we had the the gap lower, and then I got I usually do two or three bites, and then I got a, a second big bite in there after that. Uh, after the uh, uh, the the uh, drop down there at at 354. So it looks to me like it's. I like to use the uh, price by volume on my charting. It yeah. shows uh, over the last two years that the the major area of support on the queues for the past two years is from 340 to, to 342. So it looks like we've had about four days of pounding that 340 trying to get under it. So I'm 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 sitting here thinking, you know, it's that's going to break here shortly. I, I just don't see that holding up much longer. I'm, I mean, I'm thinking, um, let me put it this way. I'm hoping we get a very light volume move higher Monday and Tuesday. And by uh, Wednesday, uh, we get a lot of signals. I'm going to be going through some charts later. But for yeah. me, that that would be ideal. I don't always get what I want. Sometimes yeah. I get what I need. 
but uh, that would be very well, nice. I think we can come back we, in it. There, there's ahead. several things going for being short here coming up. I think, you know, the 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 uh, company buybacks, uh, 98% of all companies are in the blackout period for buybacks, which they can't be doing, you know, during reporting period so that you don't have those people buying. Hedge funds, I read the other day uh, on Zero Hedge, the hedge funds have been selling heavily for like the last three weeks. Uh, so there, there's really not too many people left to buy. You know, you you got the Fed out of the, but the Fed doesn't meet till the third and fourth, uh, I think of May is when they meet again. Okay, you wanna hang on for a minute? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got, I got something else, I'll hang on. Be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, we're back, uh, hopefully with John still on the line. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey let, let me ask you this. I've been trading off and on for 25 years when I have time, <laughs> it's not something you want to do kind of as a little hobby, which would get you into trouble. Uh, what, do you remember ever seeing the volatility like we're seeing in the Treasury yields? Uh, Monday night, or was it Tuesday night, it hit, uh, 
it hit 283, and then like yesterday, the day before, it was back. They were back down to 264, and now we're back up to 283. We're talking about yields that represent trillions of dollars. I mean, I have I don't remember ever seeing anything like this. Um, well, my my first foray into full time trading uh, was in uh, October November of 1998. I just traded okay. around there. So, yes, I was in the smack dab. I got thrown in the deep end in the smack dab of uh, the Fed coming out in the middle of the day with Rubin and Greenspan uh, and seeing at the point uh, a thousand point move in the Dow, which is probably, I don't know, equivalent of Would three or four thousand points in the Dow now. Yeah. So, yeah, and the, the treasuries were all moving. So, okay. yeah, I've seen it before. I, I would okay. say that rarely. I, I was just I, kind of shocked. I mean, I you know, of course we're just so used to them being sitting there for the last you know, what ten twelve years and just being you know barely budging. Uh, you know, of course that was all thanks to the Fed, obviously. But uh, you know, the, the the market cheered the, the CPI number that came out the other day at like at eight and a half percent. I'm thinking. I don't think these people have seen what this is going to do. I mean, and then so when the PPI came at number came out yesterday, it's like they just kind of shrugged, and I'm like thinking, well, you know, at 11 percent on the PPI, that that is that is stuff that's being produced that's in the pipeline that hasn't hit the consumer yet, and when it does hit the consumer, it's going to shove that CPI in my thinking up to nine or ten percent. Is, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm just I'm like, I, I don't think I don't think Mr. Market here is quite really thought into what the consequences of all that's going to be. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, but uh, geez. Yeah. Uh, Tom and the den says uh, 1994 was worse. Um, well, I just yeah, remember right. that. I, yeah, obviously, you I, know, when, I, they, when the Fed had to run overnight rates up to 20 percent to, to put a lid on it. Uh, I, I would tell you this, though, and it comes from probably the Bible of trading, as far as I can say, and that is reminiscence of a stock operator. And right. after him spending 40 years in there, he says there's nothing new under the sun. There can't be because speculation <laughs> as old as the hills and yeah. to tell you the truth, it is it. It's like I bring up the history every day. It's not. It doesn't exactly. It isn't a copy, but it uh, it, it it does rhyme, and it's close. Right. So there's something that's happened like this before, because right. it's all about human nature. Uh, when things sure. uh, actually, when the brown stuff actually hits the fan, it's happened right. before, and people, uh, even though we may know or think we know a lot more than we did in the past. Uh, human nature hasn't changed really since recorded history started. Yeah. Uh, I always love that song, "Waiting for the World to Change," and then figure <laughs> out what human nature actually is, and it hasn't, <laughs> and it won't. So exactly. Uh, yeah. What was the well, uh, let, let one me, guy? Let, let me ahead. ask you one other thing: how, how much credence do you give to these astro planetary charting things? I was listening to the guy, Larry Pesavento had a guy on his show this morning, and I was listening to him. Uh, he says, sounds pretty convincing. I mean, he's got a lot of past data to, to rely on as to what he's calling for. He, he's, he's, he's calling to be pretty bullish uh, from Monday to May 6th. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, we got a lot of earnings between now and then. The Fed meets on the 3rd and 4th. I'm like, Maybe he's, he said there's like a 67 percent probability of that working out. I'm like, well, who, who knows? Maybe you know, you, credence to to planetary astro projections. What what you you have in much uh, experience with that? I have tried and tested just about everything in the market. Now <laughs> that's what I figured. There, <laughs> there there is a lot of possibilities. When I yeah. and I didn't listen, so I don't know what he said. Maybe he's yeah. got some secret sauce he's not divulging, which I would, you <laughs> know, if he actually, if they actually, whoever it was, actually had something, right? They may not yeah, want right. to spill it all. Okay. 
<laughs> Sometimes exactly. they're just great. Some I've seen people just be great traders, and and they uh, they will uh, come up with something to disguise whatever it is that they know. Right. Uh, and sometimes, like I said, they just don't divulge it all. So when I go to test it, it doesn't work for me. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, if if uh, I don't know the reason or what they're doing a lot of times, uh, all I know is when someone tells me something, um, there's got to be rules. you got to be able to test it. But that's me. Right. I know a yeah. lot of – have you ever heard of Clever Hands, Hans, H-A-N-S? No. Okay. Great story. Uh, around 1900, a guy with a, ho a horse that could do math. <laughs> you never heard of it? Okay. No. Okay. All the scientists got together. This guy ran around for, I don't know, 10 years. And he kept, uh, he kept saying, okay, two plus four. And the horse would scratch six times, right? And they would okay. do all kinds of stuff. And the scientists were all perplexed. They were pretty sure the horse couldn't add. <laughs> but um, the, the owner was always in the room. And they did for 10 years. They kept on trying all kinds of ways to defeat it and figure it out. Um, they finally got the guy to stand behind uh, a curtain and ask the horse the same thing. Horse couldn't do it. The horse okay. had learned to read the guy's face, right? R so, really? I thought, I thought yeah. you were going to say he was giving him hand signals or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. The guy truly believed his horse could add, but what we really found out was the horse could figure out uh, by the way the guy smiled when he got to the right number and would quit uh, doing it. Now, oh, the, the, guy, wow. the, guy was, the guy was not a, the guy was not a fraud. Right. Right. So is there something in some of these things that people come up with the trade markets <laughs> where they don't tell us or Good analogy. somehow somehow they know what they're doing? <laughs> they just don't know how to 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 explain it right. or tell me. But I've tried a, a variety of things. And then, you know, you try to go back and test it and you find out there's 4,000 different uh, reasons that they give for, well, you can't do this here and you can do that there and you can't, basically untestable, right? But they make right. money, but they make money. So the yeah, question yeah. is, um, you know, when you when you deal with that stuff, you never know. We'll be back in a minute. Yeah, okay. okay. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And uh, we're back. A uh, question earlier in the show about Microsoft and where it comes out. I mean, just looking at the numbers, it was fairly uh, easy to spot. Uh, two or two eighty two fifty uh, is dead center and wipes out all those uh, puts and calls uh, above and below, uh, where there's what eight times the amount of uh, puts and calls. Uh, the strike above and below two eighty two fifty. So all they got to do is really kind of keep it there and uh, rake in all the all that cash. So that's kind of how it works. As I said earlier in the show, if you want to check out my newsletter, uh, especially this morning, um, I put in my notes on a lot of uh, the wisdom of crowds and using options to predict uh, expiration. So that's a good one in there. And of course, all the uh, latest, uh, most hated stocks in the market so you can take a look at that uh so we got that just to check into the market here uh 282.46 we'll see how close it comes and uh let's see if i got that okay let's go back to this okay uh s p down 20 is that right let me update it just to make darn double sure. Uh, S&P down 28, uh, Dow up 70, NASDAQ down 210. And uh, what do we have here? Yeah, SPY is actually a little bit weaker. We'll see. Everybody dodging for the exits. But uh, eh, no big move out here, that earth shattering. Okay, so we got those questions answered. Let me get this other one up here. Okay. We've got a couple more questions here. You said if one is bullish, then a low volume sell off would be good for the news. What do you think is the case today? Uh, no, we're not closing anywhere near the lows. So, or at least at the moment, we're not. Maybe something happens before the end of the day. But yeah, we're down three more points on the uh, spies. Yeah, I would say that would probably be a good indication. Um, but uh, anything north of 440 um, is pretty much a bounce off the lows and very light volume. I would say... Uh, more interesting is the queues can't uh, find anybody. So maybe you get a little bit bigger. You got a little bit more to think about on that side. Uh, but uh, we shall see. Like I said, I think we probably get a day or two bounce uh, Monday and Tuesday after the long weekend. And then we're going to see if it bounces Monday and Tuesday on very light volume. I think that's uh, it gives us a lot more. I'm not doing anything at the close today. Uh, 
Okay, so we got that one answered. Okay, got that one, got that one. Got those two. Uh, question on Tesla. What's going on with them? Um, he just likes to stir stuff up. A very interesting if you're into the intrigue of uh, the E-suite about what's uh, T-S-L-A. E-S-L-A, he thought he typed. Um, so what's going on with this? Of course, everybody probably seen the news and talked about it ad nauseum. I thought in the more, uh, I thought uh, it was kind of interesting what he did. I think he's really kind of uh, making sure to point out uh, the ineptitude of the current management and the previous management and that they're not so much interested in making stock prices higher as uh, being the lords of information. Uh, every time he does something, it is about proving the point uh, and probably how much better off Tesla would be with better management uh, that we're not uh, deciding to die on the hill of killing free speech. Uh, but, uh, you know, the thing today is one. Are they going to now they got to explain why they're not going to take 54 bucks. But I always thought the same thing, which is that he was going to get just enough stock uh, to be the ringleader when he probably asked next week for every one uh, of his followers to buy 10 or 100 shares of Tesla and give him the proxy at the next voting meeting. And that would be the best way he could avoid all the uh, imperial entanglements of uh, being in the stock and kick everybody out, kick all the board members off, uh, do all that. He doesn't need to take them private. But I thought that was a very interesting technique to show that the, uh, the uh, current uh, uh, executives are a bunch of weasels, not surprisingly enough. Um, since uh, they're the disciples of the the uh, guy before that decided to use uh, Twitter for evil. But I don't think there's a lot here to go. Uh, I do like, um, let's go back to Twitter, actually. T -W -T -R. I do like the uh, huge uh, short interest is this building. Uh, people have been going on it. So, yeah, I think that you, if you could get back to like 42 bucks, I might front run him asking his disciples to go out there and buy this thing because uh, they have been shorting the living daylights since this thing popped uh, back here on the 4th. So, you know, on a long distance thing, I have no idea. On a short distance, I think you've got a lot of people uh, deciding to, to descend on Twitter uh, on the pop, and they're going to be by next week. This thing may be primed uh, to have a twenty dollar pop, uh, especially if he starts asking all of his followers and he has legions uh, to buy hundred shares. That's all it would take. Give me your proxy. He can go in there and clean house. So, interesting idea. Um, and yeah, Twitter makes money the same way Facebook made money. They sell ads, uh, but uh, I think uh, that's a good point. Uh, Elon says that he wants to change it uh, to where you uh, pay 10 bucks a year, and he figures you doesn't even need ads then. And that would be an interesting thing, going back from free to paid. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, probably the most interesting part of all of this is he's going to dump he said if he gets uh, buys the company uh, or he gets control of it somewhere he's going to dump the code that shows how they promote and uh, dispromote uh, various comments and uh, I think there can be kind of a, a whole kind of Nuremberg like trial go on uh, for what these folks did and I think they're gonna I think they're kind of backed into a corner because if he actually gets that done uh, everybody's gonna know what they were doing and it's uh, if you're a big fan of free speech, you probably didn't like it. So, yeah, I think there's a, there's going to be a lot of fun going on with this. But, uh, you want to make some money? I think maybe a little bit farther down, watch everybody short the daylights out of it. And all he has to do is ask and everybody will pile into this thing and uh, give him his proxy. And he runs the show. Be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, question, what I was trying to get my point across is that uh, I can't prove that anybody else's system does not work. I can only prove that what I tested and the information I got, I couldn't make it work. So I have no idea on other people's stuff. I've got enough problem with my own. Uh, so I'll try to do that. Uh, taking a look at uh, the TLT out here, getting a little weaker than I thought. Um, but we shall see. Spies are have now started to break. So maybe we are, do get that kind of low in here. Uh, by the close today, like I said, uh, over 440, I thought that would be something. So maybe we do get the light volume uh, drubbing down. But I'm just thinking even if we get a nice rally next week, it's probably only a handful of days. Uh, the worst thing you can think of is that in a bear market that you're always going down. In a bear market and a bull market, stocks are higher three-fourths of the uh, three-fourths of the days from the day before the difference is you're only up a little in bear markets and you're down a whole lot more on the down days and on uh bull markets you're still up three-fourths of the day it's just a little more when you pull back it's generally a lot but it's only a day and then you start moving back up or two days there are not a lot they're sharp but they're over fairly quickly, and then that's it. So there is a characteristic of it. But um, 
probably the worst thing of being a bear in a bear market is understanding that you probably shouldn't, unless you've got a six-month window that you're just going to sit on your hands, if you're actually a trader, you want to make your cash, you want to take it, and you want to run uh, for the hills, and don't get sucked into being short every single day. It just doesn't work out. We're going to go to a three-day weekend, so we'll be back Monday. So when you can, not when you have to, and we will see Monday.